Hi everyone, someone I know of asked me a question about removing text from images for protection for privacy reasons or something. So I quickly put together some test code to see how it can be done and it really worked very well. So I thought of sharing it with you guys. So please go ahead and hit the subscribe button in case uh, you want to be notified of these type of videos in future. And again, while you're there, hit the thanks button to show your generosity. Let's go ahead and jump into the code. And the goal here is to take any image, for example, the one on the top left that you see here, and detect the text in the scene and remove the text. And I'll talk about what the general approach is in a minute because I added all the notes as part of the code that I will definitely share with you via my GitHub link and find the link down below in the description. Okay, and here is the general approach. We are going to use an OCR library. I am using Keras OCR. It can be any OCR. I covered a couple of different OCRs in my past, and Keras OCR is something that I just chose uh, for this exercise. So we're going to use Keras OCR to detect the text, and then we are going to define a mask around the text. And once you define the mask around the text, we are going to inpaint it. And again, in OpenCV, there are amazing tools. You can use inpainting to kind of inpaint it. So it looks seamless, well, kind of. You'll see that it's still patchy, but uh, at least the text will be removed. So that is, the, that is the goal. And obviously, to actually apply the uh, mask itself, we need to provide the coordinates of the starting and the ending point of the line, right? So where does it start? Where does it end? So you can actually create a mask and you can inpaint it. So that is something that we need to calculate. And that's exactly why we have a function down here to do this. And again, parts of this, the code, I borrowed it from a couple of uh, uh, places, uh, resources on GitHub, but uh, obviously put together to do exactly the job that we're trying to do here. So uh, the starting point will be the midpoint between the top left corner and the bottom right corner of the box, right? Let's say you have uh, a scene where you have some text. So the midpoint, the starting is the top left and the ending is the bottom right. So, uh, uh, well, sorry, let me explain the starting point of this line, because what do we want to do? Uh, you have a mask, top left, bottom right, and you have like text, and we need to paint it. And how do you find the starting point for that line with certain thickness to paint it? First of all, we need to find the midpoint between the top left and uh, bottom left. So that is the starting point. And then we go in a line and then we inpaint it. So this is basically bottom left corner, top left midpoint, and then same with the Y. Okay, so that's what this function does. And then the next function here actually does what we want it to do, which is uh, inpainting. So here we are using first thing first, we take an image and we use Keras OCR to read the image. You can use scikit-image to read the image. It's up to you because here the image is nothing but a NumPy array. So as part of Keras OCR tools, there is something called read. So I'm going to read the image right here. And then we are going to uh, do the prediction. And again, uh, the prediction, I, I did a video on the Keras OCR topic, so I really don't want to bore regular viewers on a lot of details, but pipeline.recognize is how it is recognizing the text as part of your images. And once you do that, then we are going to define the mask because as part of your uh, pipeline.recognize, it's actually giving you the coordinates of where it is. And that's exactly what we are going to use as uh, to extract our bounding box and that's what we're doing. So our mask, we are defining our mask right there. And for box in prediction groups zero, this is nothing but your bounding box. We are defining our coordinates and then we are getting our midpoint right there. Again, between your, uh, for your X and Y, midpoint for X and midpoint for Y, how far do you wanna go? And then we are going to define the thickness of this line that we're trying to paint Okay, and then we are just doing the inpainting. Uh, it may sound a bit weird, complicated. Maybe I'm uh, not giving a good explanation, but basically wherever you have text, okay, it gives you the coordinates, bounding boxes. And we are taking the top left, bottom left, and taking the midpoint. Top right, bottom right, taking the midpoint. And then we are defining a thickness for the line that goes from the left side to the right hand side. And then we are inpainting it using OpenCV, which comes right there, inpainting using the OpenCV right there with a the specific thickness of the line and so on right there. 
okay that is the that is what this function actually does and then we are basically defining our caraso cr pipeline and uh, just in paint text calling this function with our input image right there and we are saving the image as text removed that's it as straightforward so let us go ahead and run this it may take a little while for me to again keras ocr obviously uses keras so if you have gpu it's going to use gpu and all the standard deep learning um, stuff applies to that so let me go ahead and uh, in fact as soon as this writes what are, what are we calling text removed image dot jpeg and the image is traffic signs dot jpeg so let us go back text removed traffic signs right so traffic signs is right there and text removed is right here isn't that cool <laughs> wherever you have text it's gone it doesn't matter where it is all the text is gone sometimes if this is legible on the number plates that's also gone okay so uh, this is how again this is how easy it is to do this including this miles per hour thing is gone so again guys uh, please keep asking the questions i know i get a lot of emails from you guys asking for help i cannot respond to all i get like over 120 130 emails per day right now sometimes i say hey let me look into it but then I, I i get overwhelmed by all these thousands of emails every day but then i get a an understanding of the theme like what type of questions you're asking and i try to create some video snippets like this so please keep asking primarily via the uh, via the comments box because that is something that i uh, i can see right away uh, emails is something I cannot because I get way too many like I already mentioned so please keep asking your questions uh, it gives me a chance to uh, experiment with stuff and if it works out I'll go come back and then uh, create a video for you guys thank you very much for your support